G2A has fantastic deals on Steam and Origin keys as well as Xbox Live, PSN codes and many more. Check out the link in the description below or in the cards in the top right hand corner. Hey what is going on guys, Oznaminator here, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to some more Roller Coaster Tycoon World. Now we're going to be continuing our campaign playthrough in Frolicking Forest. Now there has been an update since I last played and by the looks of it, it's completely knocked the um, super flyer out of its location because it's cutting through the path here. As you can see, they're queuing up here, but the, this is the entrance here, but yeah, that needs to be relocated. So they have updated since I last played and they've actually uh, optimized it slightly and also added in a new ride, which we'll be checking out. So let's... I guess we're going to have to delete this, aren't we? Because there's no way to move it without... So I guess we're going to delete it then. And I did read in the patch notes that they're actually working on a uh, mass delete uh, option. So you'll uh, be able to delete things at all at once rather than individually. So let's go back into rides. Uh, it was a thrill ride, wasn't it? And let's bring back the super flyer. And let's just rotate that back around. So is that going to link up easily or do we have to relink it ourselves? I think we're going to have to relink it ourselves. So let's place that in. Yep. All right. And now let's go back to paths, uh, queues. And we just, can you, that's not even the queue. No, wrong thing. This one, and we had we had the standard queue here, didn't we? There we go, and then we'll go for a basic path, and we just had the f little hexagon. There we go. All right, that's relinked. So let's open that up. Sweet. Pendulum one is still broken down. Check where your mechanics are, or considering hiring some new ones. Um, I don't have access to that at the moment. I don't think. Um, how does one hire? I don't know how to do that at this moment. Alright, so we've built our roller coaster over here, but it has yet, we haven't got enough money to build it. And it looks like it actually needs to be tested again, because all our stats are out of whack. So let's test it again, because we need to build a roller coaster, no, wrong button. We need to build a roller coaster above excitement rating of 3. So we're going to have to, oh, there's a bit of a bug there. Um, so we're going to have to build a new... Or was that just because of that? Ah, that was because that was open as well. Okay. Um, so we're going to have to build some more... A new roller coaster to have a bit more excitement. Because we need an excitement rating of 3. So let's... Oh, hang on. D if you place scenery within that... Um, within that building, that increases the excitement, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Oh, ride signs. Oh, so we've got ride signs that we can place on these rather than those arches. Okay. That roller coaster's coming back in. Cool. Um, so let's just add in some flower beds, I guess. Or some trees. We've got some nice flowers and plants. Let's go for some azaleas. Um, and some random lilacs. See how that does. Pass. Sweet. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's now 3.2. I believe in the last update they actually improved the um, stats rating system. So that, that that's helpful. So this coaster costs $8,520. So we've opened it. Nice. So we've completed the roller coasters now. That didn't actually open. So, we'll wait for that. So, we need to reach a monthly ride revenue of $500 and reach a park value of $10,000. Okay. So, let's open her up. And let's actually build in our paths and queues. Um, let's see where we can... Can we bring this out? Damn tree. That's right. I put that tree there, didn't I? Okay. Let's go here. Yes, I know they can't reach it. Don't you worry. Um, I'm not too worried about the grid anymore. Um, that can go there. 
Then we can go to the queue line. I'm going to go for a standard queue. And we're just going to bring that straight to there. So if I go into a scenery and place down a ride sign, how does that... Does that tell you the name? Okay, game. That was well done. I'm going to have to delete that now. Um, and let's go... Um, there we go. So there we go. You actually have to place them yourself. Very nice. Now they know what that is. Okay, so our next... Some of your peeps are starting to get hungry. Place a food stand in your park, check the price, and open food stands. Didn't I already do that? I guess it doesn't count it. So let's see if we can extend this path out. Um, no, 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 I don't, no, no, no. I don't want to delete the building. I'm trying to delete the bushes. Here. Game, please. Please. There we go. Okay. Now let's see if we can actually build... This was a medium path, wasn't it? So we can't... Why can't we actually build that direction? Okay. Okay. Never mind then. Alright. So let's place down another food stall, I guess. Um, so we've got a burger stall, we've got sushi, and we have... What was this one? That was a salad. So if we go... Over here, we've got the salad. An Italian food stand. Let's go for that. Let's rotate that around. It's a shame you can't place it there and it automatically links up to the path. There we go. Place that down and then we're going to place path. Be careful, your cash flow is getting low. Yes, I do see that. I need to place down this path, otherwise we won't be getting... Ah, the paths are a bit funny sometimes. Okay, so then we need to check the price and open food stall. $7.50, quality, medium. Okay. Food style noodles. Okay. There we go. Nice. So we actually reached our park value of 10000 now. One of your rides is broken. It's been broken down for a while, game. Show me how to fix it. Click the buildings button. Click the staff button and look at the staff buildings available. Build a mechanic stall in your park. Open the mechanic stall to have your mechanics fix your ride. Okay, so buildings. Oh, staff. Okay, so we've got a medic stall, medic building, janitor stall, janitor building, mechanic stall, mechanic building, entertainer stall, and entertainer building. Now, unfortunately, it's looking like we're, ju oh, we're just going to have enough to build this. So let's place this somewhere... Not so open, so let's just delete some of these trees. Let's see if we can actually hide it off away. Uh, mechanic. Let's just rotate that like so. Let's just place that there. And let's go to paths and medium. Did you know you can take a loan? Indeed. Let's not worry about that. Okay, so I can't even... So I'm going to have to... Ta how do I take a loan, then? How does one do that? Can you... I'm going to clear all those notifications because it's annoying. Uh, finances. Um, loans. Bunny Vale Banking. Loan amount 10000 Term 1 year. Annual interest 5% 5, 5 monthly payment of $875. Okay. Oh, I'll take that loan. Yes, please. Thank you. Alright, so now we can continue on with our path building, and that won't go there. Do we still need to be... Sometimes this path construction confuses me. What is wrong with building that path there? Like, seriously. Am I seriously going to have to go up? No, you're not even going to... Okay, let's see if I can delete this path here. No, no, there. Okay. And now let's see if we can go... Let's go try to do the curved path. See, now it'll let it do it. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay. Let's just go to straight paths. And let's try again. See, it doesn't even... I can't place that path anywhere. 
Okay, we're just going to go for a small path off of here. Okay. And then down to here. And then we're going to go for a medium path off of here. Like so. And then we're going to connect that up. Alright, so let's open this up so we get our me mechanics. Number of employees, one, two or three. Let's get three, because you never know how many we're going to need. So three, please. What is that? And off go the mechanics. Dude, their animations aren't even working. What is this? That guy's working. Up. Oh, if I zoom out, no. I don't know. Game. Alright, so some of your peeps need to use a bathroom. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can manage that. Park services. Small bathroom. Um, let's place that. Let's place that off the beaten track here too with the uh, thing here. So let's go there and place down our path. Like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along and just replace those ride signs. Um, and this needs to be opened. Alright. So let's just close that for now. Let's go into the scenery. Can you wait? Complete the first set of campaign. No. Oh, it didn't let me read it. Okay. First of all, I'm just going to place in ride signs for the moment. Um, like so. We're going to rotate that around like so. And here. And here. There we go. That's closed. Why? Did I not open that? Did I not open that ride? I don't think I did. That's helpful. Damn silly swings aren't open. Alright, so that's much better. Um, oh, we can even, even place exit signs. So that people don't walk any further. Okay, so let's place an exit sign here. Uh, just there. That's the exit for that. Um, this is the exit for that. Um, this one here is the exit for that. Actually, we could just cancel that. Delete that one there. Um, wow, that, that, that ride is really loud. Um, and then we could place the exit sign and it could go right here. And then if we end up expanding, we can change that. All right, we're looking good. So now we just need to reach a monthly ride revenue of $500. So with that being said, I think we might even place in another ride. So we've got we've got a junior ride, um, family rides, we've got a circus, wild tycoon wings, bucking bull, silly swings. So we've got one of them. Um, I think this was the new, the new ride, the typhoon, an adventure ride. Oh, wow, that is quite a big ride, so nope, not today. Um, ring of Fire, let's place in a Ring of Fire. That could be interesting indeed. Um, let's just rotate that around. The entrance is on this side, so we're going to place the entrance. Um, we're going to place that there. Then we're going to go paths, we're going to bring that straight down there. Straight down there, and can that not... I think we're going to have to come straight there first. There we go. Nice, that's looking good. And let's place in a queue line. And let's go... Let's go for a snapping. Like so. Then like so. Then like... Uh, so. And there we go. Alright, and now let's place down our... Exit sign. First of all, like so, let's get rid of that and let's place down our ride sign as well. What does this other one look like? Okay, that's an interesting one. Let's place that one down. It's closed. Alright, let's open her up and check it out. The Ring of Fire. Okay, how are we going here? Oh, we're almost there. 98%. Park rating is looking very good. We've got 500 people. Well, 499 now. Um, it's looking good so far. Wow. There's a lot of people that are like 
wanting to go on this super, super flyer. And everything else is kind of meh. Got a few people lining up for this one here. A couple of people lining up for the swings. But other than that, and the merry-go-round seems quite popular. And the roller coaster. Oh, wow. Oh, so it actually lines them up like that. I wonder if these gates actually open and then they send the people through. Let's turn the time control. Let's see if they enjoy it. Are you ready? Hold on! Woo! Very slow around that corner. Down they go. Woo! Yeah, it's a very slow, slow ride, that one. Up there. Woo! Up and around. And back down. Let's let's check out how this Seriously, you're vomiting? I didn't think it was that nauseating, was it? That's delicious sound. Let's just speed that up a bit. There we go. Okay, so it actually Nice, the gates actually open up and everything. That's cool. Right, so that's been built. Now one of the um other things I read in the patch notes is they now have roller coaster stations without the darn roofs. But I don't think that that's actually true for the um wooden coaster. See if I go customize, see it's only got those two. Whoa, that ring of fire is going crazy. Um but if I go to a coaster such as the hyper coaster we now have a stand standard station with no roof I think we might actually build this roller coaster um, we're gonna experiment with the um, freeform coaster builder let's get that in there like so okay oh we've got an achievement hyperactive because we've built a hyper coaster so, freeform mode. So I can place this anywhere on this grid. Now, how do I go up? Uh, so it's shift and then you use ah, the scroll wheel to go up. So let's go straight. Oh, that's a steep one there. Let's go like that. Um, and then we're going to come this way. We're going to go straight down like this. Uh, straight down like that. Yes. I technically shouldn't be able to be built there because of this, but... Um, what specialty pieces have we got? We've got a corkscrew. Corkscrew, we've got a dive loop. Um, what else have we got? We've got a hammerhead turn. Um, large and small. What, what's this? Okay, we've completed our objectives. The social hub is where you can find additional social content. Expand your park to two tiles, reach a park value of 30,000 and finish three months with a park rating greater than 650. Well, not at the moment. So we've got the heart line, the Emmelman loop, um, the twisted hammerhead, my goodness, zero gravity roll, no loops, no loops at all. That's interesting. I guess we let's place down a corkscrew to the left. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. Okay. Actually, let's. No, we won't place that in just at the moment. All right. Thank you, objectives. I'm not worried about that right now. Um, we're gonna curve. We're gonna come out and around this bend this way. Um, then we're gonna go up. And we're gonna go. Oh. Can't place that there, so we're gonna have to. No, I don't want it, that sharp corner. Um, so three, I should be able to. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. And let's go. Oh no no. Um, let's still keep going up like so. Then we're just gonna come down a bit like so. Then I'm gonna go. Oh, we don't have enough space now. So. Let's go curve it that way. Let's go for the corkscrew. Okay. Wooden coaster one has broken down. Restraints stuck closed. Oh dear. Hope those mechanics get onto it. All right. So let's bring this up again, like so. 
We're going to bend it around this way and then we're going to bring it down. Bring it all the way down to the bottom. Like, uh, like so. Then we're going to come through these trees, if we can. Uh, like this. Through the trees, like so. Um, have we got dive loop? No, we can't do that. Um, what about the hammerhead turn? Why is that an invalid locate? Is it because of the tree? Let's delete this tree here. Oh, 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 oh. Let's just delete some of this stuff here. And then let's go back to this. And now we can do it. So we're going to go for the dive loop. Oh, no, that's not what I clicked on. That's what I wanted. There we go. And then we're going to bring this down and around. Then we're going to come down... I don't remember what height this is. It looks like it's about the right height. Um, so we're going to start bringing this in, but I don't want that curve like that. And then... Why are you trying to curve that much? Why are you trying to curve that much? Okay, we're going to go back in, edit. Okay, this is going to be a problem then. If it thinks it's all twisted because of that specialty piece, this could be a problem. Okay, we're going to have to auto-complete. Okay. Um, let's curve that in like so. And auto-complete. Let's do the auto-complete because that... And then here, um, let's go mechanisms. This section here... Uh, let's add a node here, just so we can add this set small section here could be the uh, Friction break and let's just bring that down to 2.0 uh, Then here this section we want to have a chain lift and I want the chain lift to be Quite a fast chain lift um, Nice, so let's test this right out and see how it goes Right. All right, here we go. Up the chain lift we go. Oh, reaching the top. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, that's not as fast as I would have thought. That's all right. We're going up. Down. Is it even going to make it through this corkscrew? Whoa! That's quite slow through there. Through the corkscrew. Up, up, up. We're not going to make it. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Oh. Yeah. That dive is not steep enough to give us enough speed. Here we go. Whoa. Over and around through the dive loop. Back around. I don't think we're going to need those friction brakes though. Oh, maybe we will. So let's see if they slow us down enough. Nice. That seemed alright, but it was very, um, very dull. Um, let's see if we can edit it actually. Alright, after all that messing about we finally got it to pass successfully so how fast did it actually boost to it started off at 68 and then coming through these boosters it got up to 82 miles per hour uh, 55 and then leaving here it got to 66 and 72 nice it's looking about 73 over there 61 71 73 when we get to this hill coming out 83 90 coming down here nice all right excitement low yeah it is kind of boring that was a shit roller coaster <laughs> before a quick before we end let's check our objectives so we finished three months with a park rating greater than 650 we need we're about halfway through reaching our park value of 30,000 and we still need to expand to two tiles 
And then in the next episode, we'll jump into the social hub. All right, well, that's all the time we've got for in this episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon World. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please give the video a thumbs up. And you can find my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram links down in the description below. If you'd like to check this game out for yourself, I'll have a link to the game on Steam down in the description as well. Also, if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one and other gaming and modding content. Hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.